good morning to everybody we are discussing the rectangular wave guide on last term we have discussed about the component of electric and magnetic field in terms of the hz and hez that is the z component of electric and magnetic fields and that are the ex is equal to minus g by the kc squared multiplied by the beta delta ez by delta x plus mu omega del hz by del y similarly for the ey and the hx and hy we have calculate in the details now we want to calculate the hz and the ez in terms of the different parameters and what are they today we will be calculate hz and ez in the proportion constant hz we can write like in this form that small hz xy e raised to power minus j beta z where j is the iota root of the minus 1 here we have considered that the magnetic field and electric field are changes in form of the exponentially along the z axis and it will be vary along the x and y so that's why we write the small hz that is depends on the x y directions how they are calculated we can use the maxwell equations we know that del cross h equal to g omega epsilon e now on taking the curl on both sides we can write del cross del cross h equal to g omega epsilon del cross e now we can expand del cross del cross h in form of the e cross b cross c and that is equal to minus del square h plus del of the del of the h equal to g omega epsilon and del cross e is written in form of the h that is equal to minus g omega mu h and we know that del h del dot h equal to 0 so the second terms on the right hand side left hand side is 0 so the finally we can write minus del h square h equal to omega square mu epsilon h or we can write like this one del square h plus k square h where k square is omega square mu epsilon k is known as the proportion constant now in terms of the z we can write del square hz that is depend on the x y z plus k square h z x y z here h x y z is equal to small h y e raised to power minus epsilon minus j beta z as earlier we have write now we substitute the value of hz then there are the three terms del square del by del del square by the del x square second is del square by del y square and third is del square by del z square so first we can write del square small hz by the del x square plus del square del y square hz and the finally in terms of the z del square by del z square we can write minus beta square hz xy plus k square hz xy now rearranging this one we can write del square by del x square plus del square by del y square plus k square minus beta square whole multiplied by the small hz xy equal to 0 and here we introduce a new terms that is kc square equal to k square minus beta square and that is called cut off wave propagation constant kc square what is value of the kc kc equal to the root of the k square minus beta square beta square as per we know that the omega is beta is square equal to that is the components that is phase constant 2 pi by lambda that is uh, we say phase constant and also it is related with the a cut off frequency that is we have calculated in the later on using this we can calculate the guide wavelength what is the wavelength inside the wave guide is that is lambda g 2 pi by beta 2 pi in place of the beta we can write k square minus kc square and k square we have write omega square mu epsilon and the kc square is omega c square mu epsilon now on rearranging we can write omega i can be 
written in terms of the 2 pi f, f is the frequency and the omega c is the 2 pi f c. And so, we can write this is 2 pi by divided by the 2 pi root of the mu epsilon multiplied by the f square my f square minus f c square power half and we know that root of the mu epsilon is equal to 1 by v, v is the velocity in the waveguides and this is equal to f into lambda, v equal to lambda we can write in the earlier classes. So, v equal to f lambda f is frequency, lambda is wavelength. So, we can write this is equal to v divided by f square minus f c square root. So, that is lambda divided by 1 minus f c square by the f and this is a relations between the guide wavelength and the cutoff frequency. Lambda g equal to lambda divided by root of the 1 minus f c by the f square. This is have the numerical importance and what is the omega by beta? As per we know that k c equal to root of the k square plus beta square and k square equal to k c square plus beta square. So, in place of the k square we can write omega square mu epsilon and that we can write omega equal to root of the multiplied by the root of the mu epsilon and they could equal to root of the k c square plus beta square in waveguard beta is greater than k c. So, we can write approximately we can use that is omega root of the mu epsilon equal to the beta and the omega I beta equal to 1 divided by root of the epsilon mu and that is vp that is phase velocity. If you want to plot a graph between the omega and beta and that will be give the dispersion diagram for this one and that is in the parabolic form. Lowest form it is equal to the cutoff and then again it is increases on both sides for the lower wavelength and the higher wavelength we can change it. Now that is very important for the rectangular waveguide that is the TE mode. TE means that is transverse electric mode in the rectangular waveguide. Earlier we have write the four component ex, ey, hx, hy in terms of the hz and we have discussed that the TEM is not TEM mode is not possible in the rectangular waveguide because if the TEM is there then ez and hz both are 0. So, the all components hx, hy, ex, ey all four components are 0. So, there is no propagation of uh, electromagnetic wave inside this rectangular waveguide in form of the TEM mode. Now, we switch our only the confined ourselves that is in TE mode. TE mode means E z equal to 0. The electric field is in the transverse mode, not along the that is directional proportionalization of the wave. So, in the TE mode only z components of the magnetic field H z exist. There is no E z. So, it is useful for the transmit of the energy in the waveguide mode. So, for the T e mode E z equal to 0, but H z is not equal to 0 and we have write that H z equal to small h z x y e raise to power minus g that is iota beta z. And we have also write del square H z equal to minus omega square mu epsilon H z. And again in form of the components we have write del square by del x square plus del square by del y square plus k c square equal to small h z x y equal to 0 and k c square equal to k square minus beta square that is earlier we have write. Now, by using the method of separation of the variables, we can suppose that h z x y is equal to x capital X is function of the small x, capital Y is the function of the small y. So, substituting this one into the equation second we obtain y capital Y del square x by the del square plus the x del square y by del y square plus k c square x y. Now, earlier we have known the, what is the method of separation of variables. Divide the equation by the capital X y on both sides. We obtain 1 by x del square x by the x square plus 1 by y del square y by del y square plus k c square equal to 0. And we know that the first term of the left hand side is depend only on the x, the second term is only depend on the y and third is the constant of all these two. So, first term is you can say equal to a constant 
that is depends only the x and on the second term that is only the depends on the y so that is also the constant both are separately equal to a constant so we have suppose that 1 by x del square x by the del x square equal to minus k x square similarly for the y so the above equation for can be written minus k x square minus k y square plus k c square equal to 0 and here k c square equal to we obtain k x square plus k y square and also by using this equation which one that is 1 by x del square x by the del x square equal to minus k x square earlier we have discussed in the bsc part third and bsc part past that solution of this is like the shm and that is x equal to capital x equal to a cos k x x plus b sin k x x similarly for the y c cos k y y plus capital d sin k y y here a b c d are the four constants whose value can be determined by using the boundary conditions so finally general solution of the hz what is that small hz xy that is depend on the x and y equal to the product of these two ax a cos kx plus b sin kx x plus that is multiplied by the c cos kyy plus d sin kyy and similarly again they have right a b c d are constants can be calculated by using boundary conditions of the waveguide what are the boundary conditions for the waveguides is given in the figures we can say for the t e mode in this rectangular waveguide h z x y z boundary means surface of this one it x equal to 0 x equal to a that is the length of this one width of this one and the height of this one is b so y equal to 0 at the bottom and y equal to b at the top so there are the four boundary condition x equal to 0 y equal to 0 x equal to a and y equal to b and on substituting the values we have obtained earlier um, that is on the last term that is h x equal to minus g b by k c square del h z by del x because here the h e z equal to 0 for the t e mod similarly for the h y that is equal to minus g beta k c square del square h z by del y and finally can write e x equal to minus g omega mu by the k c square del h z by the del y and e y equal to plus g omega h mu sorry g omega mu k c square del h z by the del x now the four boundary conditions for the e x it y equal to 0 y equal to b e y that is x equal to 0 x equal to a so for the magnetic field h y can vanish at the x equal to 0 for the all values and this is possible only using this one that the y equal to 0 and y equal to b in these boundary conditions we use for the e x equal to 0 del h z by the del y equal to 0 so capital b constant equal to 0 because for these two conditions the del h z by the del y equal to 0 so in the formula we can write the e x equal to 0 or we can say b equal to 0 Similarly, for the x equal to 0 and x equal to a, we can write the d equal to 0. So, we can remove these two constant from our formula and finally, we can obtain h z equal to the a into the c cos k x x cos k y y e raise to power minus j beta z. Here, both sign terms are cancelled. So, in general, we can write del h z by the del x equal to del x h z by the del x y and the finally del h z by the del y equal to 0. So, h z can be written this is like this one. Now, the second boundary condition x equal to a del h z by del x equal to 0. Differentiate kia jai equation 14 ko to milta ko that is the h z ka differential a c k x minus sin kx x cos ky something and z so we say this is equal to 0 first differential must be equal to 0 so sin kx a equal to 0 e cover sakta hai sin theta equal to 0 when theta is equal to pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi or you can say the multiple of integer multiple of the 
pi so we can write k x a equal to m pi where m equal to 0 1 2 3 so k x equal to m pi by a similarly for the y equal to b del h z by the del y equal to 0 so that is the second terms that is related with the cos k y and we obtain that sin k y b equal to 0 where here k y b equal to n pi where n equal to 0 1 2 3 4 pi and k y equal to n pi by b so we have obtained these two propagation constant and that is h z equal to the a m n cos m n x by the a cos n pi by b y and e raised to power minus j beta z here a m n is equal to the ac because these constants it depends on the m n that's why we have write like this one and this is the magnetic field component along the z axis for the t e mode where there is two possibilities boundary condition x equal to 0 x equal to a y equal to 0 y equal to b here the beta is propagation constant and this is equal to minus k square minus kc square k square minus kx square plus ky square as earlier we have right and the kx ky is substituting the value beta we can obtain beta equal to root of the k square minus m pi by a square minus n pi by b whole square for the possible waveguides propagation k is greater than kc so we say possible te mode in the rectangular waveguide there may be the many combination of the m n and n for wave propagation in the waveguides and the possible cutoff frequency is equal to k equal to kc means this is the minimum frequency by which it can be propagated that is the cutoff frequency so here we can say k square equal to k square so, or we can write k square equal to omega square mu epsilon and kc square kx square plus ky square on substituting the value of the kx ky we can obtain m pi by by a square n pi by b whole square substitute kar diya jaye mu kc ko that is equal to 2 pi fc so finally fc that is cut off frequency for the mn mode 1 divided by 2 pi root of the mu epsilon and multi whole multiplied by the m pi by e whole square plus n pi by b whole square power half using this one we can calculate the important uh, topics and that is called the dominant mode what is that dominant mode the mode which have the lowest cut off frequency is called dominant mode yani wah mode jiske liye nyunatam कट ऑफ अंत तक आवृत्ति होती है वह डोमिनेंट मोड कहलाता है फॉर रेक्टेंगुलर वेगवेड्स मोस्टली हम यूज करते हैं ए विड्थ है बी हाइट है तो मोस्टली एज ग्रेटर देन बी या हम यूँ कह सकते हैं कि ए का मान बी से अधिक होना चाहिए तो बी न्यूनतम मान जीरो हो सकता है मिनिमम वैल्यूज द जीरो सो द एम मे बी द वन सो द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज टी ई वन जीरो मोड एज द लोएस्ट कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी सो टी ई वन जीरो इज कॉल्ड डोमिनेंट मोड and what is the frequency for this one we can write cut off frequency fc10 here we can write m equal to 1 n equal to 0 fc10 equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of the mu epsilon and the pi square by a square power half so that is 1 by 2 pi mu divided by mu epsilon multiplied by the pi by a so that is finally we can write fc10 equal to 1 divided by 2 a root of the mu epsilon this is cut of frequency for the dominant mode for the TE in rectangular waveguide. If m equal to 0 and n equal to 0, all components like the pores are 0. So that is not possible for this one. So the first possible is the 10 TE10 mode. So this is sufficient for today. Okay, thanks.